Hey everyone, I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jance, and this is to my left and your right, Eric Moore. And this is the Nintendo Prime Podcast, episode 104. Mixed it up on him. Yeah, no, <laughs> it seems like call me off guard. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Um, how's it going? Just us two this week. Uh, I think we have a couple of patrons for, coming on. I don't know. We have to like rearrange things. We have Easter coming up. So, uh, Next week for sure should still be recorded on Thursday. The week after might be recorded on a Friday and said, so, I don't know. Whatever. We'll figure it out. You guys don't have to worry about it. Just in, sit back and enjoy. And we have four topics. And for the first time, I think, in Nintendo Prime history, I didn't come up with any of them. Now, I've had Eric come up with topics in the past. And I was off getting some food for my fiance. And I'm like, hey, man, can, you want to come up with some topics? He didn't have to. But I come home, and he has four. I was expecting, like, oh, maybe he found one. Because usually when I ask him, he comes up with like one. He's like one topic. Yeah. Uh-huh. But he's four. Yeah. And so I'm going to let Eric introduce the topic. Oh, What's our God. first topic, Eric? Uh, did we want to go in order, I'm guessing? Well, just sure. Okay. doesn't matter. Just, I mean, just pick a topic. Right. Russian roulette it. <laughs> Russian roulette it. <laughs> um, all right. So it's been announced that Disney Plus is coming to Switch. Actually, and a lot of other things. Yeah, and PlayStation 4 and Xbox and PC and Roku's and... I think Amazon Fire TV is a whole bunch. They're trying to put it everywhere. Right. Uh, big news, though, that it comes to Switch because Switch doesn't have many streaming services. Right. Uh, in fact, Hulu is it when it comes to on-demand, traditional on-demand. And even mm-hmm. then, Hulu has a live TV aspect. So it's also like a live TV thing you can do on. on uh, but maybe, you know, now you think about it, maybe that's why we have Disney Plus because mm-hmm. Disney owns 60% of Hulu. Yeah. So... Obviously, oh, yeah. that that would make sense. Yeah. They they must be working together. Yeah, I, I suppose. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, I mean, it's weird too because literally, uh, Nintendo announced not too long ago that they have a fourth theme park being built with Universal. So it's like they're building theme parks with Universal, Universal. but they're letting Disney yeah. streaming services and nobody else's. By the way, it'd be fine if they let everybody else's. Like, nobody else's. There's no Amazon. There's no Netflix. Yeah, I, I, I'm still confused. No Crunchyroll. I'm still really confused. We on, have YouTube on those, and Hulu, and now yeah. the other Disney one, yeah. Disney Plus. Yeah. Whenever it launches, they didn't give an announced date, uh, release date. Basically, Disney did a kind of a little a little presentation today for Disney Plus, uh, and they didn't say when it's coming. They just said it's coming before the end of the year. Uh, they said within the year, which with, we assume that means within this year, or maybe it means a year after the thing comes out. I don't know. It'll have every single Disney and Pixar movie. I don't know why they had to say and Pixar because Pixar is owned by Disney, so I, I whatever. But I think that's because they want to differentiate because they did say all rated R movies would go to Hulu, which they own like Touchstone and a few others, so that's like where the rated R movies would come from. So I think mm-hmm. maybe they're just maybe maybe they think Pixar is such a big deal that it's worth mentioning on its own. Well, which, it, it, a lot of their you know more modern classic movies are Disney Pixar. Sure. Yeah. So I mean, it it makes the most sense to just not all of them. S- most of them. That's why I Not said most of them. Most of the ones that people think are good. Right. <laughs> that's that's yes. what a caveat yes. in there. Yes. There's a lot of Disney movies that come out. Right. But the ones that people like Toy Story coming out, like yeah. that people, Pixar. I got some right. Pixar, everyone. Yeah. Disney was, Pixar. Was Frozen yeah, right. done by Pixar? I don't think Frozen no. was. I think no, Frozen I was think. back to their old traditional no, ways. No, I, I don't even think Frozen's Disney. Is it? I thought it was. <laughs> you don't even think of Frozen's Disney? Oh my gosh! I'm I'm literally, I I don't even know who this man. We grew up on Disney, and he, this man, I I can't believe he even has to Google this right now. Maybe you should Disney this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I I'm gonna let the dead air go because I'm in shock. I'm I'm in such shock right now. I'm, we're just dead air in this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was only one of the biggest Disney movies to ever come out in the past decade because no, I know. it's the biggest hit they have for had. Some, for some odd reason, I don't know why I had DreamWorks stuck in my head. Yeah, it was the biggest animated yeah. film they had ever yeah. had since, like, Toy yeah. Story 1. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was yeah. huge. And that, that, is, yep, that was straight Disney. It was not Disney. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. and that, that was why it was a big deal because it was a return to their musicals, which they yeah. hadn't really been doing. Right. Um, they you know, they, basically they stopped once Pixar came back, came yeah. around. Like, oh, oh, we're yeah. not doing this anymore. Like, why? Yeah. I, everyone loved. Nobody stopped loving musicals. Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, hello, you guys had High School Musical. Oh God, and that was awesome. Prove that people like musicals. Yeah, like Lion King. Like everyone likes the yeah. music. Like, why did you I, stop? I don't know. 
Don't get me wrong. The Pixar yeah. stuff is great, but you could have did both. And now you yeah. are doing both. Yes. So that's awesome. Yes. Um, anyways. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm obviously excited. Uh, for those of you out there that might not care so much about the animated stuff, because, you know, maybe that's more towards your kids or more <sighs> towards, like, your, you know, what you grew up with. Um, the, it's everything. So you're talking Star Wars is going to be on here. Yeah. Because those are all PG-13 and under. Yeah. Marvel's going to be Marvel. on here. Yep. All PG-13 and under. Uh, they also said they're going to have at least five new movies uh, in the first year. Um, exclusive to the service. We don't know what those movies are. We're and, super assuming they're uh, Netflix style make something. Yeah. Um, some of them, we, I think we do know what they are. I think there's a couple of Marvel movies uh, they're making okay. that um, hmm. are non-traditional there's like also going to be like a show like one show is going to ha- be about loki or something like that oh, interesting i don't know that'd be cool um there's some stuff you got to pay attention to uh the the final season of the clone wars is going to be on there i so i thought they were also doing shows too yes five yes movies five clone shows. wars is a show no no five i thought it was five movies and five yes shows. yes okay yes so, i was just saying some of the right. ones that i remember gotcha, they announced gotcha, yeah, that were, were going to be there so um, and they'll just expand upon that over time, like Netflix did. They're they're projecting something by by 2023, 2024, that they'll have something like 94 million people. That's their estimates. They don't know, obviously, but they assume that like that's the appeal, and that two thirds of that well, audience will be overseas. I mean, um, yeah. I mean, and and that's I mean, not you know should we be surprised that two thirds of the audience is overseas because Hulu isn't overseas. Hulu is literally North America exclusive. Yeah, I don't know. So. And who knows? Maybe Disney will be the key to unlocking that overseas, too. I don't know. Maybe. There's a lot of copyright laws to work around, especially when you have rated R stuff. And maybe that's why they're keeping it off here. Because, like, hey, we don't got to worry about it. PG-13 yeah. and another, right. the whole world lets, lets right. you watch that. Right, yeah, um, for sure. So, yeah, I think that's I, – I honestly, we've known that the Disney service was going to come, come for a while. Uh, this is why things like were getting canceled on Netflix, like the yeah. Marvel shows that upset some people. But <sighs> yeah. And what sucks is yeah. the, those specific actors for those characters can never play again. Um, so it would have to be it, whenever the contract expires for those IPs, they have to reboot them. So that sucks that so they couldn't work mm-hmm. out something with Netflix to get those characters because that would have been a big. And you know, I don't even know if there would have been any money Netflix would have took for that because you know how no. much of the Netflix oh, yeah. audience that could have oh, pulled God, yeah. over. Oh, yeah. If you're like, oh, by the way, all these shows that we bought and paid for, Disney gave us billions, and uh, now they have them all. Oh. That's cool. Well, yeah. we just lost thirty million of our right, audience right. to Disney Plus. Yeah, um, which they probably will lose anyway as soon as they're rebooted. But yeah, assuming they're good. Possible. Yeah, assuming right. they're good. Like as the Netflix has a now, reputation of making good shows. Now the so. thing is, is, there's enough money to hire writers away. <laughs> so, I I think if you are a writer, like a professional script writer out there, I think there has to be more jobs now than there's ever been. Oh yeah. I, one surprise me. I mean, it was it used to just be Hollywood. Yeah, pretty you much. Need to be on cable TV or writing movies. Yeah. Um, occasionally, you can get lucky. You know, get a job writing some stuff for Broadway, but that was always on the lesser end. Now it's like no, everywhere is making exclusive shows and movies. So like, there's more jobs than ever. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Um, I guess it's maybe a good but, field to get into now. But as I mean, journalism goes away, if you could pull and one of the comes fictional writing, <laughs> right, right. If you could pull in one of the, the. Uh, producers and or big time writers of those Netflix shows and kind of get the same feel. I don't know, but I don't think they want to do that because remember this is called Disney plus. I think the first thing they're going to do is take one of their own big name people and have them work on possibly. Yeah. Because they, as awesome as Netflix is, Netflix has kind of an edge to it, right? They, they, Mm -hmm. their content feels HBO like, um, And HBO movies, HBO shows are some of the best around. I mean, heck, Game of Thrones, we have the final season. Uh, episode one just landed uh, yesterday by the time this is public. And that's, you know, that that's a massive, like way more expensive than just an individual movie to make a whole season of Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. Um, but it pulls in such a huge audience. Mm-hmm. And that's what happens with Netflix shows. And that's why so many of them can afford big budgets. And right. I don't know that Disney wants to go that far. We'll see. Yeah, but Disney are because you gotta remember Disney has on like they have the Disney Channel and Disney Junior. They already do their own movies and their own shows. You know, you hope that yeah. you know are, are they sure. really gonna do blockbuster movies on their service when they still do no, blockbuster movies in movie theaters? Saying I wasn't saying like movies. I was saying for like the shows. But even that, like, I don't know. I, I guess it's just w- wait and see because we don't know. We haven't. Right. They, they've right. never done this, I mean, so we don't know. I'm just excited to get all yeah. of my. You know, childhood, yeah, in one spot, pretty much. Oh, by the way, guys, it's only six ninety nine a month. Oh yeah, that's right. Disney, yeah, 
um, decided to price this super competitive. Um, it's basically cheaper than getting HBO. And also, if you do the yearly, yeah, yearly it's even thing, cheaper. It's, it's like cheaper five than, yeah. five eighty three or something yeah. for like for like seventy bucks a year. It, it's an insanely good deal if you like Disney's content yeah. and you want it available everywhere without having to pop in DVDs and movies. There's no reason not to have this, especially if you love Marvel and Star Wars everywhere. It'll be interesting. All the new movies will get added to it after a short period of time, like you know, hit the movie theaters and then like Endgame. Right. Endgame's probably going to be their day one. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. So we could. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, it'd be interesting to see if they they do like the download stuff. Like they are, they're letting okay. you download it. Nice. Yep. They announced okay. they announced that from day one you'll be able to download everything. You won't have to. Because you won't have to. Be, you don't have that'd to be fantastic. You, you, Netflix lets you do it if you're at a certain subscription level. Mm-hmm. But they didn't let you do it right away. Disney's like, no, you don't even have the streaming. We're doing it. We're doing or, it. or you're having a buffering problem? Just download it. Yeah, come back in like a half hour. You're yeah. Fine. Um, I mean that'd be because that'd be awesome. You know, you going back, going to E3 and stuff. You know, if there's no good movies on the plane, well, I, I don't, don't worry. Think it's, not I watch, the... it's not gonna watch. It's not gonna E3. No, I know, but I bet you it won't be till the end of the year. But right, next right. year, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. yeah, if you want to, or if you're traveling stuff. somewhere and they don't I, have yeah, good but here's on the planes. thing. We always fly Delta. I know they got, good and ones. they have like literally movies that are still in theaters. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah, so no, I know, I know. So like, but, unless I've literally seen everything in theaters, I'd rather right. watch that than something. No, I, I get it. Film. I get it. But it's and, better than and, hotel rooms. I mean, heck, sometimes they have Disney's for how much you pay for flights. Them. It better be. Yeah, no, right. Um, actually, well, flights are uh, they've come down. They used to be way more expensive, mm-hmm. and then they came down probably because they're just trying to get more people to fly. Um, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it coming to Switch is a big deal because Switch doesn't have a lot of streaming services. But because yeah. Switch has Hulu, it's probably not as surprising. It is. It is interesting how, how Nintendo successfully working with Disney and Universal at the same I, time. Right. But again, right. it's on different avenues. It, yeah. I mean, Universal's yes. doing movies and theme parks for them, mm-hmm. and they're just like, hey, look, Universal doesn't have streaming services, so why do we care? Right. So maybe yeah. that's maybe they just don't see may, yeah, any crossover. There. Right. Exactly. And maybe that's exactly. What well, maybe that, maybe that's why Netflix isn't there. Maybe because there is some Universal stuff on Netflix. Maybe, yeah. Uh, we never thought about that. Now, yeah. now, now we think we'll have two Disney streaming services, but nothing for anybody else besides YouTube. That's a bipartisan, you know. Right, and there's not. Oh, I suppose there's movies on there. Well, there there is, but buy, they're but, but they're yeah, it's it's different. Right. Uh so I don't know. I, I think it's interesting. I'm excited, and, I, and the fact that it's that it's, before it even comes out, it's already announced for Switch is just kind of like, huh. I never would have thought that, you know, a non-existent streaming service would come to the Switch before Netflix. <laughs> I mean, I honestly think, as I said, there's something going on. There's something about this deal with Hulu that is preventing these things from coming. That we're not getting right. Netflix, not getting... I I wonder but, if there was a backdoor chuck, so, like check cut by Disney. We're like, hey, look, we know you work with, you know, like, whatever. We don't care. Mm-hmm. We want... We want streaming services that are about modern day movies and stuff and shows exclusive to us. And then and that's probably why we didn't get YouTube right away either. And then Nintendo kind of, Hey, like we put, we put our Nintendo directs on YouTube and stuff. Like, yeah, can we, right. And they're just like, yeah, it's on YouTube. So we I mean, put you, stuff on YouTube too. Right. Like exactly. people should be able to watch our latest trailers. Yeah. Go to YouTube. Like, right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's how maybe but, how YouTube got around it. And you wonder if Twitch might be able to get around it. But then if Twitch comes, Amazon's going to want to bring Amazon prime and Disney's going to be like, hell no. Yeah. How long before this? This is this is the one thing you have to think about. How long is it before Disney just pulls all their crap from everywhere else though, and you could only get it at Disney Plus? Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Even it on Amazon, really you can't even buy me. it anymore on Amazon. You it, have to go to Disney. It Plus. really won't surprise me. Um, Which they did well, say that we're going to offer services to buy it though. Right. Except for the fact that if you've already bought the thing, so I don't. Well, know. Well, yeah, yeah. They, they usually to, don't. They usually don't pull it back if you already bought it. Right. Um, but uh, oh god, I lost my question. It's okay. I just think it's crazy that uh, we're getting it. I think it's good news for. I mean, oh. any any additional yeah. streaming service at this point for Switch owners is good news. Right. We don't have anything else coming. Nothing else announced. So cool. Um, right. I, I thought of my question. So why is it then that it, the the whole back and forth between Nintendo and Netflix? Well, you know, Nintendo asked Netflix. Netflix asked Nintendo. Nintendo asked Netflix. Netflix has Nintendo. What, what's what's what the whole back and forth then? Why would no Netflix one, just no say one wants to, to throw the other one under admit, the bus? Yeah, I, I think that it's no one wants to burn bridges because you know even if there wasn't a backroom deal because I'm just speculating, but even if there wasn't, like 
If there wasn't, then something's going on with contract negotiations and no one wants to say anything. If there was a backdoor deal, then neither company wants to say anything because it might make the other company look bad. And, you know, that might sour future relations on future, you know, because the Mm -hmm. contract probably wouldn't be forever. So, you're right. um, And the thing is, Disney Plus is on everything. So I don't really know why they would be like, oh, but on Switch, you know, you can't have, like, why? Every other thing you're on has Netflix and everything. So it's weird. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with streaming services. All I know is we have another one to add to the list by the end of the year. Yeah, I mean, fantastic. um, Cool. And it's cheap. Yeah, I mean, collectively, if you want to watch more than Disney, then you have another streaming service, then another streaming service. By the time you're actually paying more than you ever paid for cable, so I understand some people are getting sick of these streaming services because there's getting so many of them that by the time you have everything you actually want to watch, you might as well just pay for cable. You are already <laughs> spending like a hundred bucks a month. I right. get it. Yeah, trust me. I have Hulu, which includes my streaming TV, and that's like forty bucks a month. I have Netflix, which is another, well to keep up in the price. I think it's like fifteen bucks a month now, so now I'm up to fifty five. Add this yeah. in here, I'm up sixty, and I can have internet and cable from Charter for sixty. So yeah, no. Granted, like I don't a, get all the content for like I want. half a year. <laughs> and 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 this is on top of the fact that through Amazon, I'm paying for HBO, Stars, and now Nickelodeon because Hulu doesn't have Nickelodeon, and Yuli is addicted to SpongeBob. Thank God it's like a dollar a month, so it's not a huge no. deal. But okay. still, <sighs> anyways. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, all right, so moving on. Yeah. This next one. I know. <sighs> I know. So Nintendo did an oopsie. <laughs> yeah, um, I made a video on it. Literally, that was like the title. Yeah. Um, Stage Builder has been leaked for Smash Bros. In fact, I don't know by the time this is public. You guys have already seen it. I have no idea what Nintendo's going to do. Right. Um, remember, this podcast releases all podcasts release 10 a.m. Monday, unless you are a Patreon backer. Mm-hmm. So the Smash Ultimate stage builder was, they did a 30-second commercial. Uh, <laughs> it was in the first And it was like seconds. the first like two seconds. It was, I paused it. It's literally the yeah. second second in. Yeah, it it literally they flash to the screen and they're showing you one of the one of the sub menus and then boom their stage builder down in the bottom right corner and you're just like huh, that wasn't there before yeah um I I literally <laughs> picked up Nate's switch to see if that was there and I was just getting my leg was getting pulled when I saw that I'm like uh it, no no it, it it's not actually there holy crap this is an actual thing yep so stage builder uh was you know leaked some people are thinking Nintendo did it on purpose uh which is very possible because they yeah. I mean, this is literally their own commercial, so it's either on purpose or not. <laughs> and if it's not, you figure they would have pulled it down. So they left oh. it up. So At that well, point, once it's out there, I, mean, I know yeah, exactly. Once it's out once there, it's out there, there. It, there's no point. Um, there's it. supposed to be a big Smash 3.0.0 update coming this month that includes Joker, if you have the paid DLC, uh, and his new stage and music and all that. And it's supposed to include some new content and modes that they've never announced. They just said there's going to be new content and modes, huh. uh, and obviously. Part of it is a stage builder. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm I don't really care about stage builders. I don't care about building in general. That's why I'm not like super excited for Mario Maker. That's why I don't really play Minecraft or Dragon Quest Builders or any building game where you can build your own thing. Or even like in Halo when you used to be able to have like the forge mm-hmm. and build. Like I just don't care. Mm-hmm. I like playing, not building. But yeah. I like I like playing other people's things they build. Yeah, like in Fortnite, they have that creative mode thing. I love when that like pops in the map and you play someone's creative thing. Like I think that's really cool. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's because I lack the creativity to do anything <laughs> cool. I'm terrible at creation. Like but... I'll, I like I made some maps in Mario Maker and I'm like, oh, I was really proud of these. And then I played some online. I'm like, God, I suck. I really, <laughs> I really don't want to be designing. I, I know. I'm like mine looked like straight out of Fisher Price. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> like, nice, nice. Um, I'm just not. I've never been good at the building stuff, and I'm sure if I did more of it, I get better. But I just don't care to get better. I enjoy playing other people's stuff more. That's why I'm still going to pick up Super Mario Maker Two because I'm going to let our patrons make some stages for me to play on a live stream. So ah, there you go. There um, you go. So I'm still. I yeah. enjoy playing. I just yeah. You know. I suck at it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. By the way, when you watch me play, you'll see I suck at that too. But at least. I don't know. I have more fun playing and dying a zillion times as Mario, or getting stuck in the level because it's broken if you go the wrong way, yeah. than uh, than anything else. So, yeah. I I think my proudest moment for like stage building was from Halo back in the day. Uh, my friend Chris and I we designed a s- double decker stage that the stage was just about as more likely to kill you than the, your opponents. Um, 
we're talking like basically a capture the capture the flag uh, or king of the hill map that had two three different levels one kind of where you spawned in then you had two different levels of where you went into um you know the capture the points and uh you know we would throw we would use grav lifts to throw let's say dumpsters concrete barriers semis forklifts uh <laughs> in the different barrels and remember, basically everything that map, yeah. and it was it's so much fun because all of a sudden you're like you're just standing there and all of a sudden you're shooting at somebody and all of a sudden they just get smoked by a dumpster and you're like <laughs> whoops <laughs> that's just happened. yeah yeah or you'll be sitting there shooting at somebody you'll accidentally nick the side of a dumpster and it takes you out and it says you committed suicide and you're like i did <laughs> all right cool I thought stage killed me, yeah, but yeah. all right. I remember playing that one. But yeah, no, that that was my proudest moment in, in a stage builder thing. Well, but, what would you want to do in a smash stage builder? I, I'm trying. i maybe something along the lines of that. Just start well, throwing items across the map <laughs> or throwing objects. Across well, they the don't map. have objects that hit you though, like that. What what I want to do well, is they got cars and stuff. And yeah, I suppose if they let you play around with some of that. I want to be able to add as many bosses in as I That'd can. That'd be interesting, yeah. I want a stage that's just a flat ground, but every single boss in the game is in that stage. <laughs> and they pop like a, up all at the same time. Oh, gosh. You want to talk like, about like, like, The goal is the just other. to survive the stage. One after the other. It's just that's survive that would, the stage. That would actually be, that would actually be pretty that's good. That's the only thing. I, like, it's simple to do, Yeah, but yeah. it's a marathon. Yeah. And you're still trying to kick the crap out of everyone yeah. else along the yeah. way if yeah. you can get to them. <laughs> oh man, yeah. I I think there there's a that, that's the only real thing I want to build. I, and like there's a lot of cool things, you know, Hyrule Castle and all those other things that, that are stages. You know, you could rebuild or, or build your own. It, that'd be an interesting one. Basically, you build a box with only like two s- small openings. Oh yeah, and then you can just sit there and wail on each other and wail on each other, and then hope that the, the only way to kill somebody is to knock them through a small little hole in the yeah. side, or just one one dinky little hole. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's the only way to die. Yeah, only way to die. Oh god, you could see. I wonder if you could blow the percentages up. Yeah, I think probably you could probably get. Would it you to break that? Would you break no, the it percentages? Wouldn't, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't break. It would probably just max out and stop adding up. Because it'd be any anything touch you, you should die. But then you should die. It's hard to get out the hole. So yeah, it's just it's just like oh, it's just like it, no, you know what that's like. It's like those YouTube streams that are out there where it has the old DVD logo, and you sit there and stare at it, and it says, "When's it gonna hit the corner?" Yeah, <laughs> ah. like, dun, dun. Mm. <laughs> right. yeah. <laughs> like one out of every eight hundred cycles, it finally hits the corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good God. Yeah, but I mean, that would be kind of cool. Just having this box where you just you beat the snot See, out of he, each other. He's he's all into just creating chaos. Yes, I am. Just if I'm gonna build my own stage, I don't want it to be. Oh, oh you want to build another Final Destination? Just use the ones that are already there. I right. want to build something that the creators of Smash would never do. Right. <laughs> I want to break the game. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, isn't that the job of gamers? Oh, and, and by the way, make it so the box is only like this big instead of like the stage <laughs> is this big. The box is this big. Yes. And it's eight player stage. Oh no! Oh, God. <laughs> I, I mean, you just be sitting there button smashing until. You just fly out of the theater. No, you fly out no, of the hole. You want to fly, fly out of it early before all your stuff lands so you can land on top and just chill up there. Ah. Because no one's going to be able to get you. Right. Well, and that's not true. Well, you probably can intentionally jump out if you really want to. No, you just make it high enough. Yeah, but there's characters that can literally fly. You just make it high enough. It depends on how high it lets you go. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah. I mean, I we, uh, that'd be, yeah, that'd be interesting. Uh, I mean, if you want to, no, that's why I said you, you don't, you don't make the, you, you make it the, the top completely flat. It's on the sides, so you have to like angle one off the, off or, the ricochet off the wall, or, or like if for somehow because I don't know what the restrictions are going to be, and like it is possible to land on top. We had, like if can we set it so like it's like straight ice and you just slide oh, yeah, right yeah. the hell off. Yeah. <laughs> like even if you land on top, you're going down. You just angle it just slightly. Or or like or like conveyor belts that are going so fast oh, that yeah, even yeah, if you yeah. do touch yeah, it, yeah. you're just <laughs> you're shot off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Again, I don't know what tools and what what availability there's gonna be, but um yes. it'll be interesting to see. Again, fun ideas, but I'm just not into building things. But you know what? The more we talk about that. Eric and I are probably going to build a stage like that and uh-huh. then stream and get and just I don't know wreck each I don't know yeah everyone gets wrecked I don't yeah. really know if there's a winner there I, 
I mean, it, technically, someone wins at the end. I mean, it's, I suppose. It's, it's who's be, the luckiest? Right. It, it takes away all skill. That's what I like about it. Right. <laughs> Or, or it makes it super skill for you to know right. the launch angle the of the launch attack angle. to perfectly exactly. get it up there yeah, right. at the right percentage. Anyways. Right, right. Um, per character with different weights. Right. Um, anyways. Oh, God. <laughs> so that's the thing that's coming. Yeah. Um, now, the question is, do we think that... Because they haven't announced it yet. So do you think there's going to be just a trailer that announces it? A Nintendo Direct? A Smash it's Direct? What I was kind of wondering if a Direct would be coming. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, Direct They did a Direct Mini last year. Right around this time, so it's like it'd be. I'm, I'm we thinking, don't know the release date for Cadence of Hyrule yet, and they just said spring. Well, guess what? There's like six weeks of spring left. Right. So, um, yeah. I mean, I could see a direct or I mean, Smash Direct, Smash possibly, Direct, too, but it, it would make more sense to have a like a direct mini or something where they announce yeah, a yeah. couple of different games and then they announce Joker. You know, and they you know, they, they Shadow, present Shadow Joker. Drop the update or whatever. Yep, they present the. You know, they present the Joker and kind of show him off. Release and then they for Super Mario Maker 2 that comes out in June. Yeah, there's that. be nice to have um, that announced before we're in June. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, and then they show off. Uh, there's there's still a couple more characters in the uh, uh, Smash bundle, right? Uh, uh, four, we have four more. Okay, come, yeah, so, Joker. yeah. So I'm – and then announce the next one. Because once you drop Joker, you kind of need yeah, to have well, what's going to be the next, what's gonna be the next one. Yeah, it's going to be Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> oh yeah, God, I freaking wish. <laughs> oh God, uh, I mean, there goes Donkey Kong. I'm not playing as anything else ever. I mean, I'm Piranha yeah. Plant now. Oh yeah, nice. Piranha Plant's my main. <laughs> really? Yeah, nice. Can't help it, man. That, that stretchy yeah. neck. I played a, I mean, it reminds me of the fact that I don't have a neck. Ah, uh, so just, now I got just extra stretchy. Exactly. I'm, uh, I'm compensating. Got it. Compensating. Got it. Got it. I mean, <laughs> I, I just played a tournament and I was. I, uh, Prana Plant was on the other side. I was like, can I actually see what Prana Plant? No, damn, he lost to Captain Falcon. I'm like, ah, <laughs> dang it. <laughs> well, you know what that means. I just play Prana Plant, yeah. or we could just smash right after. Yes, yeah. I gotta go home. <laughs> you, can't, you can't handle a two stock one. Yeah, match. probably. Yeah, it's probably true. Get out of here. Yeah, it's probably true. I'll, make you play, I'll play with the broken Joy-Cons, even. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, what's the next topic, bud? Oh, okay. Um, so, a new, I guess, trailer-ish. I'm actually for, looking up. I don't, well, it's they called, don't even know what we're talking about. It's for Detective Pikachu landed not too long ago. I, it, they called it the auditions? Yeah, yeah. So I, I saw it, the trailer. It was... It, I, was, yeah. I was seeing you in the movie. Okay, May tenth. Okay, so I, was, I, was, I knew it was coming soon. Oh, nice! So I didn't realize it was coming. Yeah, that, yeah. I, have, I just watched the the trailer too, and I'm like, I didn't even the OG real. trailer. No, I, the the additions trailer. Oh, yeah, yeah that just came was, out by yeah. Ryan Reynolds released that like yeah. a few days ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, um, I guess what you wrote it as: Are you excited for Detective Pikachu? Oh God! So. I'm guessing you're excited for Detective Pikachu. <laughs> yeah. I mean... So excited you didn't even... Know. That's okay. I didn't know either. I had to look it up. I knew it yeah. was soon. I knew it yeah. was coming like next month, but... Yeah. I was so excited that I didn't realize... I didn't look at the date. The yeah. I'm, was oh, I'm, I'm day one. I, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. And I'll probably probably bring my daughter with too. She likes, she likes Pokemon. I think yeah. she'll like it. Although yeah. she'll think the Pokemon are creepy. Either way. Well, they... I mean... But I like that they're creepy. There are a couple of them that are the Pokemon, if you, especially when you read the descriptions... A lot of them should be very creepy in real life. A lot of them should like be like Psyduck, like dead, literally in real life. <laughs> like literally, Psyduck is like, if he gets a headache, everyone dies. Yeah, because his head explodes. Oh God. I, I, <laughs> that, that just reminds me of the of the the trailer. They're just sitting in the car and they're listening to elevator music, and Ryan and Pikachu turns to Psyduck and goes, "Okay, so we're we're being." Listening to this, so you don't get a headache, yeah. and it's like, yep. Oh god, everybody else has a headache. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can just you can just see it. it looks like, good. Oh my god, it looks good. Um, I, it's hard for me not to be excited because everything I thought real life Pokemon would be by it's it like look like and feel like. Yeah. Um, obviously it's got comedy. It's got Ryan Reynolds, which helps because oh, I god. like everything he's in. I, Even Green Lantern, I've, which isn't a good movie. Ah, he was good in it. Just right. the script soft. It was a really <laughs> bad script. Oh, um, but it's just... It's weird to me that the Pokemon movie I finally get excited for after all these years is a spin-off. Right. From Detective Pikachu. Right. 
Like you, you no know, a live action like you know normal Pokemon movie with, about Ash or whatever. Nah. nah, we're getting Detective Pikachu. Like. Right, <laughs> right. Detective I, Pikachu. I, like we're getting I, into a live action Pokemon movie. I think ninety nine point nine nine percent of it is Ryan Reynolds. I mean, for me, okay. So he wasn't maybe, even the original person they wanted to do it. Seriously? No. Oh. Wow. Well, shame on them. Shame on them. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds should just be first I mean, choice for every yes, character. Yes, yes, he should. <laughs> I mean, I, I and I've loved the uh, the whole Pikachu Deadpool thing. It it's oh, that's it's, fan it's, art. It's fan I know, art. but yeah. it's still freaking awesome. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> but yeah, no. I mean, a lot of it is Ryan Reynolds, but it, the movie does look really well done. Well, it looks like they put. I mean. Uh, a big enough budget into the actual CGI on the Pokemon, which is huge. Right. So they didn't cheap out on, on trying to represent Pokemon legit um, and make them look like they belong in the world. Uh, as creepy as some of them might look, guess what? They're not going to look all anime and fluffy. That's not the way. <laughs> things don't look yeah, that right, way in right. the real world. <laughs> right. So, right. Um, even the cute and fluffy things we see don't look like that. I, I'm not going to lie. In the auditions trailer, it looks like Jigglypuff was a drug addict. I'm not going to lie. It almost looked that Probably way. Probably is. <laughs> Probably explains the powers. Yeah, right. Um, oh, good God. I mean, <laughs> does have the power to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, but, it it looks so good. Like it, it's kind of edgy. Mm-hmm. Um, still intended for kids, mm-hmm. which is awesome because it's gonna hit that tween market where adults and kids alone. Which I guess is what Pokemon goes for, anyways. So I guess it's like right in its wheelhouse, right? And it's obviously more comedic than anything we've seen, which is to be expected. You're not gonna have Ryan Reynolds be the voice and not have it be comedic. Mm-hmm. Now, Detective Pikachu, the actual game, does have some comedy value to it, so maybe mm-hmm. that's why they thought it would work well. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know, but. It looks good, and uh, I guess is this like gonna be the best live action like movie based on a video game? I don't know. That that is true. I never really thought of that. I'm well, because to think like, I think it, like, here's the thing: I'm not as harsh as other people are on these right. on live action. It's like I like the Resident Evil movies. I like yeah, the Tomb yeah. Raider movies. Yeah. I like the Super Mario Bros. movie. <laughs> yeah. I love that movie. So like to me, it's like it's got to top all those. And I was like, oh, that should be easy. And I'm just like, but I really like those movies. I, I was okay with the Resident Evil movies. I, or the but, I like those movies. I yeah. I, I didn't really see much for the Tomb Raiders. Um, so there's that. Um. Yeah. No. I, Maybe the Tomb Raider was just because I was single and it was Angelina, Angelina Jolie, Jolie, and I had a crush on her. At the time. Well, who so that doesn't might, that, have a crush on her? Not, I don't need more. Uh, not just because I I'm engaged, but if I uh, have a crush on any celebrity, it's Scarlett Johansson. So, uh, like, I think I've just moved on. Yeah, and she's old news. No, it's, uh, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sorry, Angelina Jolie. Uh, yeah. Just you're, you're old news. Brad Pitt. Hey, you're old news too. So, <laughs> I don't see anyone saying they want Brad Pitt anymore. So. Oh wait! I mean, wait, 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 wait. I mean, if that's the way, if that's the way you want to go, man. I will not judge. No, no, no. no. Um, he is more cut than most men. You're right, right. Um, God, though, I, I, and the, this is gonna be the first Pokemon movie I've seen since like the OG movie, since Pokemon V movie. Yes. You haven't seen any since? I don't think I've seen all? any since. So you haven't seen any since like when we went and you got like the little Japanese Pokemon Mew card? I, d- I don't remember. All I remember is the first one. Okay, well... It's possible that I went to the second one. You didn't even... But, like Mewtwo Strikes Back? No. No, I don't think I've seen any other <laughs> Pokemon movie except for the first one, maybe the second How one. How did the first one end? Oh, God, isn't it, like, almost a dream sequence? I'm trying to remember if it was the first or the second time one. Ago. I, I, <laughs> it's either the first movie or the second movie, Ash basically dies. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, yeah. A, it's not a dream sequence, though. Mm. He actually is right. basically... Dying. Killed. Yeah. Well, he... he or, based on what happened, he's dead yeah. at that time, but he's kind of brought back. And it was all emotional, even for me at the time. It's so right. emotional when I watched that scene. Because God, not so much the other Pokemon, it. all all the other Pokemon he's caught around him, just staring at him, waiting for him to get back up. It's Pikachu mm-hmm. going up to him and just like all the times he shocked him. You know, whenever right. Ash has said something stupid, <laughs> right? And here he is, like the tears rolling down yeah. Pikachu's eyes as he's trying to like jolt him mm-hmm. back to life, and it just stays great. Like, oh man, dark and ominous, and you're like Mewtwo. Like this is what, right? 
Like, no, this is Pokemon. Ash doesn't die. Yeah, right? It's Pokemon a, yeah. die. Ash doesn't die. Yeah, it, Pokemon faint. I don't even know yeah, if they die. Faint. I don't even know if they faint. die. There's Pokemon. That, yeah. I don't know if any Pokemon have actually died in the animated series. I don't know. But but it, there was the one uh, uh, in like the show. There was the sort of like when Charmander's flame went out. Oh, that was a sad. That was sad. Too. See, Pokemon does this to you. Yeah. It wasn't a pulling your heartstrings if you follow the storyline. <laughs> um, anyways. Yeah. God, yeah. That movie was good. And they remade it. So. They did? Yeah, they did. I haven't seen it oh. yet, but they remade it. Oh. All um, right. <laughs> I mean, I guess I haven't really had the... Here's the thing. Thought you got, you fell out of Pokemon to... pretty much the moment you watched that movie. Maybe that was it. The, movie <laughs> the damn movie Pokemon. ruined, my, ruined, ruined Pokemon, Pokemon for me. me. Yeah, no. Um, oh, no. Let's go. I, I, I have a good time. Let's go, though. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Um but Sword yeah. Um Sword so Shield, yeah, right, Pikachu. exactly. Looks good. Gonna see yeah. it day one. Oh yeah. What I don't know what else what day, to say. What day is the May tenth. I'm assuming it's a Thursday, that's when most movies come out. Yeah. Or it's a Friday, but you can watch it the Thursday ah, before. Crap, which means we're pushing <laughs> which means we're pushing the podcast. Podcast from the theater. Uh, if it's a true midnight show, and we gotta push crap. Podcast from the theater. Of course, they don't really do true midnight anymore because they get tired of having employees work that late. Well, right. But I mean, even if it's like a seven, just I don't know, get off work an hour early, and we'll do the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, okay. Let's let's actually check this out. I, it's May tenth. Is that Friday? Don't, uh, it's Friday. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll be you'll be able to go on Thursday though. You'll be yeah. On the ninth. They do all yeah. major movies you can do on the, the day before. Yeah. So. And. Uh, hello, uh, I have yeah. some Pokemon merch. <laughs> yeah. We can advertise Nintendo hey, Prime. There you go. Hey, let everyone yeah. in Chippa Falls know that they can watch someone they know. Yeah. On the maybe internet. Maybe that's not a, this isn't know. such a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> what I like about being in, in, in where I live is that nobody really knows I do what I do because nobody watches what I do. <laughs> but, no, At least that we know of. I really don't care if they watch. Yeah. It's all right. All right. Um, Our next topic. Care to explain, good sir? I I don't really know a whole lot of it. I just read the title. <laughs> well, introduce the topic yes. so at least I know what we're talking about. That uh, you guys probably know more about than we do. <laughs> probably. Apparently, Super Mario Odyssey is getting a theater mode to rewatch all the game's cutscenes, and it works with the Nintendo Labo VR. It's I think it's built specifically. So for Labo the VR is already out. Um, so you guys are probably already knowing if you like it or not. Um, but obviously we can't do it for Super Mario Odyssey or, or Zelda yet. that comes later this month. So, I think it's interesting that you get a theater mode to rewatch the game's cutscenes with Labo, but like, in my head, wouldn't just putting the VR goggles on make everything a theater mode by default anyways? Maybe. I know that like, yeah. obviously the games have modes designed around VR for it, but I mean, just like, if it's not designed around it, wouldn't it just be a movie theater presentation? Like as an example, Figure, yeah. When you like put I never your really phone, thought of that. when you put your phone like in Google Cardboard or whatever, it's not doing anything to it to make it movie theater mode. Yeah, it's just you can't see anything else but the screen, mm-hmm. so it feels like a movie theater. So like, wouldn't it just be the same thing? Hey, yeah. I and guess. if that's a really thing, like, that. isn't that really a mode? Well, should yeah. you be able to do that with everything? In theory, you can I- labo any game. It's just not going to have any actual virtual reality, but it should have a. It should look like a movie theater, God. or maybe the games just look like crap. That's always possible too. Way to we can't we can't discount that. Way to ruin my thought process. Well, what was your thought process? <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought it was kind of cool, but <laughs> I, I thought you say that it's like yeah, yeah, you're kind of right. That is probably true. You probably could just throw it on there and. Well, I don't know. I I, I have, don't have unless, it yet. So I mean, unless there's some things that I I don't know. Well, okay, let's follow this up. What other games do we want to see? Get? Let's assume it doesn't work with anything by default. Mm-hmm. What other games would you like a movie theater style presentation to it? Uh, Disney I mean, Plus, but I mean, uh, I'm talking yeah. about games. Right, right. Obviously not. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> not, not, right. Obviously right. all the multimedia apps. I'd love to lay back in my bed right. and just watch a movie I mean, theater mode. But. Yeah, obviously. Um, God, I mean, obviously Breath of the Wild. Okay. I mean, just because the, the, the cutscenes... Are and not, the cutscenes the cutscenes are not in VR. Yeah. They they stated that so, very plainly. To actually watch those again and how gorgeous they are. To have it in, in like in a, a, a theater, theater mode. mode or something would be fantastic. I, I can hear you on that one. Um I'm trying to think of what Oh by the way, the kits don't come with a strap. <sighs> Just letting you know. 
you know how many people are going to be jerry rigging straps. I mean, they're just going to duck a tape to the head. That too, especially for Zelda. Oh yeah, I mean, how, how can you how can you implement? I, I don't know how the entire game of Zelda can be in VR, but they expect you to hold it like this and play. Right. Like, no, exactly. Like, no one's no. going to do that. And especially if. Especially for like Zelda and Odyssey. The Mar- no, Odyssey I get because it's just like a mini game. Like, oh, is it? Yeah, oh, it's okay. not the whole game. Right. So like I understand for Odyssey, but for Zelda, like um, that people play that for long play sessions, the whole game's in VR but cutscenes. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be no, playing that. No I'm, I'm playing that from beginning battery like, to dead and battery. And not only that, like, my, in, this is just me. In my opinion, they have to support dual controls for it. The Switch itself has no motion tracking. It's all in the Joy Cons. So to me, so to me, for it to work properly with Zelda, not only do you need a strap, you need the game to support dual controls because you need the Joy Cons to be on and used for head tracking, mm-hmm. and then have another controller in your hand to actually play the game. Right. In my opinion, uh, anyways, that's how it should work. So right. I'm even more scared. For how right. VR is gonna work. Not that it won't but look cool. My question but, is though, God, is, like, like this, like. And my next question is too. Then is thinking about Breath of the Wild. Sorry, this is getting kind of getting way off topic. We're here, on VR. Bit. We're good. We're fine. Right, right. But how is how are the shrines that are gyroscoped gonna work? I mean, you're gonna have to like flip your head. And <laughs> I mean, it's no it's handheld mode. So. But isn't that what, you what can the, gyro, but you can do it like with the right stick too, technically. But like, but the, the problem kind of kills the but immersion. The problem, but the problem too. is though too is I don't know if you can actually turn off. I don't the, think. Okay, did they think this the through? Gyro? I think is the question you're asking. Yeah. Did they think this through? The answer is probably no, since there's no included strap and no ability to. Well, as far as we're aware, maybe there is. We don't know technically, but no ability to leave the Joy Cons on for head tracking while playing with a different controller. To me, that would fix everything. Sure, I'll flick my head. Yeah, right. We're not gonna fly off. Right. Put me a chin it, strap. Let's go. Honestly, it won't. Then give me an extra arm to feed me some Cheetos. Well, <laughs> <laughs> right. Honestly, it won't surprise me if, um, when Mario Odyssey and Zelda get VR support, that there comes out. A Zelda and Mario themed VR kit, like head kit that actually comes with straps for playing those games. It wouldn't surprise me, but then again, it wouldn't surprise me if it didn't. Uh, I hope you're right, but I I don't know. I guess we don't know. That's why we need a direct. Yeah, right, Um, right, right. But in terms of just like this theater mode, pretty much any game that has a bunch of cutscenes, I want it. Right, and it could just be like a separate thing. Even it doesn't even have to happen organically in the game. It could just be a mode where you get to watch cutscenes. And I think that's probably that's what, probably that, what, what it is. The yeah. mode, the theater mode, so where like, you just go in and watch cutscenes. I think it would be it should be added to any game that has right. cutscenes, Nintendo or otherwise. Right, because it makes sense, especially for heavy story-driven games. It would be kind of cool to go back and rewatch it as like a little mini movie. Get your popcorn ready. Yeah. Heck, Late Shift is a movie that's interactive. That <laughs> needs to be movie theater mode the entire game. Yes. I love Late yes. Shift. I don't know if you guys saw yeah. it. Like, I love Late yeah, Shift. Yeah, no, no, for sure, for sure. But again, I, I'm thinking, I'm still thinking the best way to play this right now is going to be setting it on the table and throwing your head down. That still feels uncomfortable. It, it does. And, yeah. But, uh... I'm going to hook the damn elephant yeah. up to it. So yeah. I don't have to hold it up like this. <laughs> hold it like this. Just, yeah, right. With a right. little thing, and then I'll just... Oh, oh, I got to switch hands. Oh, I got to switch hands. Yeah. Got yeah. switch hands. Got switch hands. Good luck fighting a lionel with that. <laughs> I'll be like, look, you can't see the screen, but Eric, you're going to play wait, the wait. game while I'm in VR. So, yeah, I, I control the left Joy-Con, you control the right Joy-Con. You or we take the, the Joy-Cons off, right. off, and you yeah. just screw up my vision now so oh, make me throw it. Oh, yeah. who that? Punishment. Oh, that's a punishment. I just oh. realized that that'd be, that could, that that be could the betting be, that special. Could be, that could be a punishment. That could like, be a punishment. To, especially if we see if it works that way, yeah. where you have to you have to be, be like five minutes in Breath of the Wild, oh, where God. I can't even see what's happening. And I'm just controlling everything and trying to make you throw up. Or you make me throw up. Oh, Lord. It's over if you puke. Yeah. If you make it all the way through, I don't know. It. You just made it all the way through. Yeah, right. And get this feel sick to your stomach. Yeah. Better notion water. Or a headache. Sure. Eh. Oh, I mean, it wasn't. It was yeah, not yeah, good, but, but it wasn't that lingered, bad. That lingered it did. For the, it did. I, this is, I don't think it lingered. I think this no. would get over after like an hour. You'd be like. Probably. I, I think it'd probably actually give you more, give me more of a headache than it would probably stomach. You can pop some Tylenol and be done. Right. But 
still. And that could be an interesting punishment. Huh. And this could be sort of videotape because, like, you can't see it. I mean, you can right. see you getting sick. Right. But. Right. Well, we'll crank the volume on the switch so you guys can hear. Know where we're at. Yeah, yeah. There's things happening. actually going on. Uh, that just sitting hey, there. you're running into some vocal blends over there. Oh, am I? Am I? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. You're <laughs> right. Woo. And did I just jump off and go, oh, you're soaring. No, I'm not. <laughs> Right. And they're like, what are you doing? I'm looking up as you're falling down. I'm oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good times. Oh, God. Yeah, that could We're be... going to have a lot of fun with this when it's finally here. Yeah, like, I the VR so. thing's out. I, well, we're recording this on Thursday, so I haven't have it yet, but I probably won't get it until a few days. It comes out on a Friday. I think I'll be getting it a couple days after this podcast comes out. The, the mm-hmm. $40 Labo VR kit. Mm-hmm. Um, just so I have it on hand, basically for Zelda. Plus, I kind of want to, I might get some impressions on it. Um, even though it won't be the full impressions because I won't have all the VR games, uh, I'll have an idea of how it works anyways. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Who knows? Maybe I end up buying the big Labo VR kit and then I'll give you the full impression. Right, right. And actually another another it thing that like I... It takes 10 hours to build everything too. Oh, really? Jeez. And the gun is one of the coolest things apparently. Yeah. But it takes like forever to build it. Huh. It's like really well, complicated. No one does. It surprised me. Yeah. And it like apparently it feels so good. Um the early uh, early reviews, which is why I'm not going to review it, but I, I can do impressions. Mm-hmm. The early reviews I have seen of the Labo VR stuff, um, people are really impressed. And they're <laughs> saying that in some ways it's better than normal VR. Wow. Uh-oh. So, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here comes the VR Nintendo, haters. It, guys, Nintendo might be... I mean, as oh, much sorry. as we can complain about the Zelda and holding your face and how dumb it sounds, Nintendo might be onto something Yeah. that... No one dared to try until they did it. Yeah, I mean, sorry. Here comes. The, and I know it's cardboard, and you guys are going to hate on it. And oh my god, the low resolution screen. Well, like as explained in almost every review of it, the low resolution screen has nothing to do with motion sickness. So, mm-hmm. like all of your fears for motion sickness due to low res is not actually legit and real. That's not how motion sickness works. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, and apparently, like. Even the even that stupid wind pedal that looks like the <laughs> stupidest thing ever. Apparently, when you are the when you are actually in the game flying as the bird, like it is so immersive. What? Like it just it works. It looks dumb. If you're watching someone do it, you're like, God, this guy looks like an idiot. Yeah, right. But when you're in the game, it feels like you're flying, huh. which is like crazy. That's I, what VR is supposed to be. Right, right, right. No, 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 for sure. That's for sure. The, the big thing with VR is it's not just you know, oh, is the games good or that. The, the entire point of VR is to bring you into that world and make you feel like you're actually there. Right. right. And apparently how this works does it in such a way that that it's impossible not to feel like you're in it. Hmm. Even like the gun. Well, guess what? You're ho- literally holding the gun, physically doing actions all mm-hmm. over the place, and it moves with your head, and just you're just completely engrossed flying as a bird like you're flapping the wings and like feeling the wing gush for crying out loud yeah. that doesn't happen on any rvr there's there's right. no other vr device that's blowing wind at you while you're flying <laughs> it doesn't happen would be interesting to see technically there is like this someone's gonna bring up there's this stupid smart fan for pcs that is supposed <laughs> to like blow wind at you whenever you jump or something <laughs> it's the stupidest thing it doesn't actually immerse you at all all it does is dry out your freaking throat <laughs> next you're gonna tell me there's a uh, smart squirt bottle too that if you jump into the water it sprays you <laughs> yeah, oh well here's a game explain explain it like if you've ever gone to any of those 4D theaters. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that, except you actually feel like you're in the world. Because huh. you can't see anything. You're not looking right. at everyone else like, really? You smell that? Like, uh, no, it's just yeah. you. Right, yeah. Huh, that's cool. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, you know, now that you say that, yeah. oh. that makes sense. Oh, because the 4D it. theaters are so popular because you don't get that anywhere but at the theme parks. I know. Which... which Really, kind of makes me want. And to they have do the... splash you with water. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> so what no. you're saying that actually right. happened? No, I know, no, I know. It's just not a little the... mini fan in front of you. I mean, <laughs> it's dropping at you from the sky. It's one of those little, little, those little spray fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little, oh, little. Oh, oh man, Patrick, have you tried this? A little yeah. nozzle pops up, just sprays you right. Yeah, in I know. I, that, that's. I really wish they'd bring the. The, the SpongeBob 4D I movie. Love, I love the SpongeBob 4D. That they had at Noah's Ark. Oh, I don't know if so they still good. have it or if I, it's they, a different they have, one. They still have a 4D theater, but I don't yeah. know if it's still showing. It's probably can't still be showing SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Maybe it is. Maybe, Maybe. it is because it's that good. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe they rotate it. With uh, and then you get the pickle smell. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I've never wanted pickles more than when I smell it in there. <laughs> right? <laughs> Wait. And then get sprayed by water. Wait. <laughs> and then get sprayed by water. Wait. Um, another cool thing that I did see while looking through stuff, trying to find uh, topics. topics and stuff, was uh, apparently VR, Labo VR, has a Virtual Boy Easter egg. Oh, does it? Yeah. Apparently, I don't know where it's found, but uh, it, I don't know if it's just some sort of like movie or something that it shows. Basically, it shows the uh, person's hands. They have the Virtual Boy sitting in front of them. And it turn they turn on the virtual boy, turn it around, and then it looks into the virtual boy, and it shows Mario Tennis. Oh, cool! Yeah, so that was actually kind of that's cool. like the only I mean, good virtual boy game with yeah. Mario Tennis, basically. <laughs> Probably because it didn't give you the motion sickness. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I it t- actually I was a really decent played. game. Apparently, I, I played a little bit of it once. I'm like, yeah. I mean, games are way better now, but I mean, I guess at the time it might have been considered neat. Yeah. I don't know. Like but, me looking at it at the time, I've been like, what am I looking at? Yeah, like, right. This is all red. Yeah, right. Like, did I just Why? enter? Did I enter hell or something? What's going on? <laughs> did, they, did they make this game in blood or what? I like, mean, I feel like the, all this red is like can't be good for my eyes. Like lasers are shooting into my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I don't like, really thought of this that. This doesn't really feel yeah, like this yeah, is right? safe. Uh, but yeah. Again, no reported blindness from it, as far as I'm aware of. Yeah. But then again, there wasn't enough of them to find out. Maybe that's why. <laughs> oh okay. boy. Um. But yeah. Anything uh, else you want to bring up about VR? No, oh, yeah, 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 there was. Um, you know, that, that foot pedal, that yeah. the wind pedal? It would be really kind of cool to, again, with the, they'd have to make it, um, they'd have to make it dual controller. Sure. But dual joystick, or dual Joy-Con, sorry. And they do a drum set. Okay. Because you have the foot pedal. For the kick. And, and, and you have the, the Joy-Cons for the your sticks. That would be really kind of cool. They could, I mean, the Switch supports dual, like multiple Joy Cons, so that 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 is theoretically possible. Yes, that would be, I think, an awesome game. Hmm. So basically, we music, yeah, but maybe not as crappy. Yeah, but, I mean, they, don't they the, already but, have a guitar? But the problem is, you have to hold the damn thing to your face. Uh, yeah, I know. it requires the strap. <laughs> Again, you would need almost you'd almost need like triple Joy Cons because you need the one for the foot pedal. Yeah. You need the two to hold onto for the sticks, and then oh, you yeah, need to you attach would. the thing so you can yeah, have the motion would. tracking. Yeah, you would. Huh? So it would be uh, a two hundred and forty dollars setup with just Joy Cons. <laughs> Actually, I'm sorry. Yep. You could buy just a single Joy because I guess you only need five. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So I mean, I guess it wouldn't be quite that much. <laughs> It'd be a lot of money. But yes, there's people that have that many Joy-Cons. But, Heck, right. we technically could have pulled it off with just combining ours with right. my daughter. Right. So technically, I have access to enough of them to do it, I right. suppose. Right, right. I mean, you would just need, yeah, you would need Experience maybe a couple it. people. And but, some duct tape. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I, again, you're not going to tell me that people are not going to find a way to... There will be third-party accessories that will do a guarantee. Again, going back to last week, a third-party solution for a first-party problem. I mean, there'll be first, there'll be like homemade solutions too. Besides duct tape, someone will three print. Well, I know that. That's but what I'm but, saying. You're not going to tell me that somebody's not going to jerry rig something. Well, everyone's going to jerry rig something. It'd just be like, why isn't this officially supported? Especially for Breath of the Wild. Uh, granted, it doesn't matter if you still have to hold your hands up here to play Breath of the Wild. It's not really going to matter, anyways. The only thing I can think of, and the reason why Nintendo is not doing it. Is because if they did put a strap on there, and let's say the strap broke, and your switch drops, they could be somewhat liable for your switch dropping because their no, band broke. All they have to do is have a warning label on the package, and that makes you 100% responsible to anything that happens. Just like when I take my kids to the trampoline I, park, I you know. sign away their life to even I use know. the damn thing. I, I'm just, just saying. Like the, just like the TOS that we automatically agree to just for booting up the <laughs> software. <laughs> you mean that nobody reads? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they can literally absolve themselves from any damage that occurs. And besides, yeah. even if damage did happen, if it's after the warranty went out, why does Nintendo care? Yeah, I, Buy I, a new Switch. Yeah, I, I get that. But. And it's encased in cardboard, so it'll probably be all right anyways. Yeah. The cardboard I, would I was just thinking of. Pressure. I was just thinking of a reason why they didn't do it. But I mean, it's probably because they think it's too heavy for kids to have on their head. That's probably what. That's probably the real reason. And they want it to be short play sessions to limit. So the then, amount why did you bring Breath of the Wild? That's into what I don't it. get. A mini game in Breath of the Wild, sure. 
the entire game, it's like, God, you, I don't know. But again, yeah. maybe they'll, they'll release official straps and they'll make it work and the, and the mode will work with multiple Joy-Cons. Like, or like you can use the Joy-Cons and I can use a Pro Controller. And so just so you get the head tracking. I don't know. We don't know how it works. So yeah. we honestly don't know because we right. haven't seen it. Right, right. We've just but. seen them take a thing and like, look, Breath of the Wild's happening in the glasses. Let's zoom in. And it's like, okay, yeah, this is like what Breath of the Wild looks like. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like, right. we don't really know how it works. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. I think it's going to do it then for this week. Yeah. So, yeah, that was episode 104. Yeah. Uh, if you are a member on Patreon for $5 a month, you can get early access to the podcast on Sundays to the audio version. Uh, if you are a $10 and up backer on Patreon, you get to watch us record the podcast, usually on Thursdays or Fridays. Uh, if you are a $20 backer on Patreon, you can be invited to be on an episode of the podcast once per month. Uh, otherwise, you can find the podcast on iTunes, on Podbean, on uh, well, I just said Patreon, a Google Play Store, and Nintendo Prime Internet. There you go. Got it all, baby. Yeah. Got it all. Getting better uh, every yeah. week. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and as always, you can find me on Twitter at Ninty Prime, and you can find Eric on Twitter at Emo8790. And I might as well remind you guys we are giving away a Nintendo Switch Super Smash Bros. bundle thing of a jigger giveaway. We've been giving it away for like half a year at this point. Yeah. When we hit 50,000 subscribers, we'll finally announce the winner. And we're back on the growth pack. We're almost to 46,000. Great. So, hey, we're getting there. Maybe we'll get there before E3. I don't know. I'm hoping. That's just wishful thinking. But, yeah. Uh, there's a, a Gleam that I'll link. You might as well enter it. If you made it this far in the podcast, like, come on. Go <laughs> right. enter right. the giveaway. Like, seriously, everyone else has entered it. Go enter it, and good luck. Uh, it is a collection, uh, like a collector's item. So yeah. get in on it. Like, seriously, yeah. especially if, like, Switch Pro comes out. Like, even it's going to become even more of a collector's item because they'll eventually stop making regular Switches. Yeah, so. right. Uh, all right. Catch you guys uh, in the next episode. You. Yeah.